All right, what is up guys, Trell here, and today I'm gonna to tell you about the five things I learned when making my short film, California Baby. So, let's jump into it. So this is a tip that I learned from a screenwriter in Hollywood that is supposed to cut down on things like writer's block, and this is actually what spawned the entire idea for California Baby because I had these two Halloween masks that I bought this year that I didn't know what I was going to do with and I decided to write a bunch of short stories out of them and one of them actually became California Baby after I pursued it. So sitting down and writing down once a day can stop writer's block but it also can get a lot of new ideas flowing and for me it resulted in an entire short film. So there you go. Now this is the first time I ever did rehearsals in one of my movies. And again, this is a process that I think this point on, I am always going to do because rehearsals are so useful. By doing rehearsals, I gotta sit down with the actors, go through the script and, you know, go through their character motivations and personalities, which saves me a lot of time on shooting day of having to stop to, you know, help them figure out the lines because by the time we get to the shooting day, we're all on the same spot. And when we rehearsed, I actually shot them going through the scenes and this helped me because I could put it into my editor, go through it and see, all right, on this line, I want the character to actually be acting like this. And you know, it really helps to go through uh, what exactly the script is really about and clear up any confusion that there is in the story. So this is a tip that I learned from the YouTube user D4 Darius, and I wanted to try it out in this production and it is such a cool thing. Um, basically, if you don't know what a character objective is, that would be like telling your character how to feel without telling them how to say it. So say you're in a scene that revolves someone telling another person to get out of the car. Instead of saying, all right, say it like this. Hey, get out of the car. You would instead tell the actor, say it to them like if they don't get out of the car, you're gonna rip their throat out. And why this is such a better process is because it lets the actor put their own personality in it so it sounds a lot more natural and it stops them from sounding like they're just trying to do an impression of you. And I think this overall is just a better process for the actors and it makes you a better director because you're a lot easier to work with and people can understand a lot better what you want when you tell them the emotion instead of you know the tone of voice that you just try and put on yourself when if you're like me you're not really an actor so it <laughs> works a lot better if you do character objectives, trust me. So when I first started California Baby, I wanted it to be released exactly right on Halloween, but October I went on vacation for a week and just, I procrastinated with scheduling, so it kind of got pushed back to mid-November, which was a horrible, terrible idea because apparently November just turned out to be the busiest month of my life so far. And uh, the most comparable movie scene I could compare it to is, if you ever seen Man of Steel, there's a scene where Superman is stuck under this world engine and just these energy beams are just falling down on him. He's struggling to stand. That's pretty much what life was like for me for two weeks. Uh, the week we had to shoot California Baby, I had like speech presentations. I had to do book reports on books I haven't even read yet. And I had to get ready for a music video that I was gonna shoot. So if I were to push this back to when I was not busy, it would honestly be spring and I really didn't want to push the movie back that far away. I think a spider just walked on my foot. So try and just plan out your schedules as early as possible. Get everyone on board as you can. Get them rehearsing, figure out times to shoot. And don't push it off because if you're like me, you'll find yourself making it when you have all these other projects you planned going on and it just becomes a giant stressful mess. So please avoid that. So this is the last and big thing that I learned when making this movie. You know, leading up to this, I put out It's Yellow Eyes and I actually got surprisingly great reception from people. I mean, I had people from school that I never really talked to messaging me, telling me that, you know, they loved it. And, you know, I really had a lot of pressure and California Baby, I was like, all right, this is like my artistic follow up to it. You know, like this has to be the biggest thing and whatever. And, you know, once, like I said in my last point that, you know, I was in such a busy schedule and all these things were coming in and I started to realize, you know, like I'm gonna have to kind of not exactly rush through this, but like really get on it, not be as prepared as I envisioned, you know. I once 
at one point figured out I only had like two hours to shoot the entire video, so I had to rush out on a whole separate day and shoot most of it, and it was really going crazy, and I was like, am I getting these shots, and is this gonna be good? And overall, what I took away from this is that sometimes I just need to remember to have fun. I mean, that's the entire reason I wanna be a filmmaker is because I love the fun and adventure that is making films. And lately, I don't know if it's because of all the technology and the competition that I've just been so focused on like, I have to be perfect, I have to get everything so good. You know, this has to be a perfect envision of what I am as a filmmaker. And I think just because of all of that, I started to get too caught up in the process and I stopped having fun. You know, I was taking things too seriously. But once I sat down, put this together, and just the look I saw on Luke and Skyler's faces after I showed them the movie, I realized, you know, you know, this is why I love being a filmmaker, because I just love seeing, you know, these things that I create, how it can just get people so involved in the story. Just have fun with it. Don't be too serious. Um, strive for perfection, but don't be sad if you fail, because failure is necessary for success. So, that is another five things that I learned. Um, don't know when my next short film is out. Uh, might have something coming in December, but I don't want to jinx anything. So yeah, look out for it. And uh, this is Terrell, Lost Utopia Films, signing off.